If you are here, that means you have survived the logic tutorial and are back for more. Awesome. Today we're talking about switches. Learning how to utilize switches will up your patching game tremendously, so let's get to it. A switch allows you to switch between two signals. This circle and this rectangle go into a switch, and I use a boolean to switch between the two shapes. Left of the shapes, we use another switch and another boolean to switch between 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 for the sizes. At the bottom of this little patch, we find another switch, this time switching between two colors. By using switches, we give our users more control, which means more power, which means more awesome. But what if you need a switch that has more than two inputs? You can use the inspector to set the amount of inlets for the switch. In this case, we have set it to five so that we can switch between five colors. But this raises the issue. We can't control the switch with just a Boolean. The Boolean does true or false, one or zero. We need values up to four. Yes, I said four, as we programmers love counting starting from zero. The most logical node to use in this case would be the integer in, as our cases run from zero to four, all numbers. It makes little sense to use floats, but you're still allowed to do that if you want that. Note that this float in runs from minus 10 to 10, which is not a problem for the switch. The switch will clamp between zero and its size. But what if I told you there is an even better way to do this? Absolute madness, you say. But let me introduce you to the choice in node. This node allows for the creation of custom drop-down menus. Just type in a couple of words in the inspector and both wire and arena will give you a menu. Each new entry in the inspector will create a new value for the choice in node. Let's see how this looks in arena and move on. Note that when a switch is operating at event flow but receiving a signal into its case inlets that it will only update when switching. The gate node can be used when the inlets of a switch need to be at event flow. Here I am using a gate to switch between two streams of triggers. Congratulations on making it to the end of the tutorial. You have earned yourself a reward. Maybe a cookie or a candy. Cookie or candy. Cookie or candy. Cookie or candy.